Hi, YouTube. One of the reasons I love Bernie so much is how authentic and real she is. I also love being curvier. And when she claps back at people questioning if she's pregnant, which sadly happens a lot. And it happened just recently after she posted some additional images from her Lemmy Purr campaign that Cult is addicted to. A commenter asked, are you pregnant? Which like, how rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. And Courtney responded, the after effects of IVF, I only acknowledge this comment because I do think it's important to know how IVF affects women's bodies and it's not spoken about much. Are we still asking women if they're pregnant? I really, really like that she does that because people are always asking if she's pregnant. Normalize not having a flat tummy from all angles. She's promoting body positivity, but ended up deleting the picture. And that's what's confusing because it's like, did she delete the picture because she didn't like that people were commenting on her being pregnant or was it because she saw a lot of the comments <laughs> alleged the photoshop fail in the photo because her arm was literally toothpick thin or as the kardashians would say skinny mini skinny mini oh. <laughs> I think it might be an optical illusion, but it looks like it might have been Photoshop. I think she probably deleted it because of that. I don't think Court would stand her ground and delete the photo because people thought she looked pregnant. If Kourtney Kardashian is pregnant, you really think she's going to be on Instagram posting away? Like, no, even before the show even aired, people were saying Kourtney Kardashian was pregnant. Then we see it on the show where she's going through the process of trying to get pregnant and she does not succeed. She stops IVF and it's still, is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Did they not listen to Not Skinny But Not Fat when she was on the podcast? I mean. So yeah, we are for now done with IVF and we hope that God blesses us with the baby. You would think the one person that you would kind of just let it relax a bit is Courtney because she's trying so hard and we know how badly she wants to have a child with Travis. Oh, you take this one away. Okay. The boy's a liar. The boy's a liar. <laughs> No, it needs to be that boy's a liar! liar! Northwest is literally living her best life on TikTok and leave it to Kim to make sure her dream Kardashian comes true, Thompson. She got to collab with Ice Spice. That is very cool. Ice Spice is all the rage. Even I know who she is and I'm like a TikTok grandma. Northwest gets what Northwest wants. No pictures. The cameo was cute, but North's Ice Spice wig. I tried to fit, he begged me to stay. Hey, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was pure gold. The cameo that actually got me and I thought was genius was the Mariah Carey cameo. So it started with North and Mariah's daughter, Monroe doing the it's gone it's gone it's gone yeah it's gone oh my god you guys bleep me out and then at the end Kim and Mariah come in and it was just such a like surprise at the end there and I loved it but that's the best part about Northwest is which celebrity cameo is next on Kim and North's TikTok because they got Mariah Carey who had a trending sound on TikTok and now they got Ice Spice who's been trending on TikTok her entire career North is like the luckiest kid in the entire world what's the um Oh yeah, Veruca from Willy Wonka. Isn't that the character that's, oh, that's like, Daddy, funny, I yeah. want this. Hey, Daddy, I want a golden goose. People are saying Northwest is like Veruca and it's like, Mommy, I want ice spice and Kim made it happen. <laughs> Let's even look back to when she met Jojo Siwa and like all that happened. North gets to idolize someone and then they're brought to her. Yes. Did you have the best day of your life? Yeah! I think it's really cute that Kim's entire TikTok with North is all just playful and fun. But I think Kim like secretly loves it and she pretends that it's like, oh, North makes me, oh, she's pulling my ear. Like, no, 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 you love it. You love she it. She loves it. She was doing the exact same TikTok sound with Lala on FaceTime. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. And then Ice Spice came over. So Kim's down for the TikTok game. Kourtney Kardashian dyed her hair platinum blonde she's been opting for like the punky look lately ever since she's been with travis now she went platinum blonde it was quite shocking but here's what's more shocking to me called the internet wasn't that shocked no. how would you be shocked when she's the least exciting to look at she's the least exciting to look at 
No one cares what Courtney does with her hair. Colty, did you not take your Lemmy gummies today? Mm. Lemmy is like candy. I actually didn't take my Lemmy gummy, <laughs> but as Kim Kardashian's biggest fan, I already know Kim is saying, she's copying me. Like Courtney copies me with everything. Well, if you don't care about you and I, why do you keep on picking out all the same Close. It's kind of wild because I think Courtney wanted to make it really clear that no, she did not copy Kim and that if she copied anyone, she copied young Courtney. She posted a throwback photo to young Courtney with a bleach blonde head of hair. She also posted an inspo pic of Drew Barrymore with similar hair. So if that's not like a snide way to say I didn't copy Kim, like she's not the inspo. She wanted to make that very clear. It's so ridiculous because Kim and I have completely completely different styles. I don't know what people want from the Kardashians, honestly. I feel like you could post anything about them. It's like, who cares? Why are we even talking about them? Who <laughs> cares that you got our hair dyed? And it's literally like, they're the most famous people. Yeah, I care, we care. People care. Also, she's our natural, organic, green queen. Like, did she dye it with like natural peroxide? I do not know what Kourtney Kardashian is thinking because this bitch has been over here. No sugar candy at a Candyland theme birthday party. I'm trying to do it somewhat healthy. It's, it's like Candyland, Courtney. Now she's bleaching her hair, but I think Courtney's just like, F it. Like, I don't even care anymore. Next, is she going to be getting a microwave in her house? It's about radiation. Maybe she's going to start drinking coffee. Oh, that will be literally the cause of World War Four. <laughs> is so funny about him because people say the sentence like World War Three. He thinks there was one. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not you talking about me like I'm not right here. So are you guys into Quartz Platinum Blonde that she definitely didn't copy from Kim? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to check out all of our past recaps in case you missed them. And don't you forget to subscribe.